Dwayne Haskins. He got waived. And, you know, Ron Rivera made it clear that it's a move that benefits both sides. Rivera had this to say. He said, This afternoon I met with Dwayne and informed him that we would be releasing him. Rivera said that in the statement today. He said that, I told him that I believe it benefits both parties that we go our separate ways. We want to thank Dwayne for his contributions these last two seasons and wish and we wish him well moving forward. I don't think he contributed enough, but you know, when you got you got Kyle Allen taking your job. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it it was a move that I think did benefit both sides. I think this is going to be a move that helps Haskins grow up a little bit. He's been wildly immature in his last two years in Washington. Uh, he hasn't really shown a lot on the field, and not enough to where you would be like, "Oh, this guy was a former first-round pick." No, he hasn't. He hasn't showed enough of that, and it's a shame because a lot of talent was wasted. But hopefully, this is the moment in his career that kind of flips his direction and puts him back on the right path. I think it. I think it hit him. Especially in a tweet that he made, uh, he said about how he didn't take he takes full responsibility of not meeting the standards uh, as an NFL quarterback. Not only that, he didn't take the he didn't make the standards off the field he could have made, and uh, you know he's sad that he has to leave Washington. But you know that's the team he grew up rooting for. That's like that's like anybody's dream, but. When you don't meet the standards on and off the field, that's that's what you're going to get. Yeah, so the question that we, I, we have to raise here is what is going to be next for him? Two years ago, this guy was a Heisman finalist and looked like one of the better quarterbacks in the country. Uh, he played fantastic in the Rose Bowl. Um, and, you know, he ended up getting drafted in the first round in the top 15. I think he was the 15th pick. He was 15, yeah. And now he looks like he's a first-round bust. You know, he has many off-the-field issues, just like he has on-the-field ones. There's a lot of problems that come with Haskins. Is he going to be worth the time and investment? That is that is the big question. I say I say it's definitely looking worth looking into because he has a lot of potential. But you're not bringing him in as a starter, though. No. Not Obviously, that's not what you're looking no. for out of him. You're going to look for a guy to grow second, third string under a good QB that's maybe coming to his final years. That's what you're looking for in a guy like him, especially off the field, not even just football off the field, learning. he The biggest thing is the playbook, film. I mean, when he doesn't know what he's doing on the field, you can't trust him. So, And that's that's what happened in Washington for sure. And uh, you can definitely see that in the, in the landing spots here that are projected by CBS Sports and Yahoo, what you just said, JT. The, you definitely don't want to bring him in to be a starter. Uh, Steelers top both CBS Sports and Yahoo's list as best potential landing spots for Dwayne Haskins. Um, like you said, you're not bringing him in to be a starter. You want to mold him into being a backup quarterback. Steelers have questionable backups. They have Mason Rudolph. Uh, he's definitely show. He hasn't really showed enough in the games that he's had, and he has quite. He's had he, quite the opportunity. He has a lot of games under his belt. Like last season, not only him, him and Duck Hodges, who's now on their practice squad, yes. but like. He had a big chance, and I just don't think he's he's the the guy next no. up under Big Ben. So you got to bring somebody in before Big Ben's gone to teach. No, no, Rudolph is a quality backup. I don't think he's ever going to be a consistent starter in the league, but he definitely showed last year for the Steelers that he's worth keeping around for at least a while. He's he can win you games if that if needed, but he's dependable for sure. But like, I you can't take him through a whole sixteen no. game season and expect playoffs out of him. Now, and with the 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 buy, the, the low, I not I guess it's not low risk high reward because I guess it could be low risk high reward with Haskins because there's so much potential there. The problem is, can you? Can you keep him in line? And Tomlin has a great track record of doing so. You look at Antonio Brown. He kept Antonio Brown in line for so many years and kept him keep kept him just enough in line to where he was getting great production out of him on the field. And then it got to a tipping point where Antonio Brown just snapped and you could no longer continue to carry that weight of trying to keep him level-headed. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't worth it for the Steelers anymore. And they, they cut 
loose at the perfect time, as you can see. Antonio Brown's career just absolutely tanked, and now he's back at the box. I but. really hope he does well, but back to Dwayne Haskins, like, the biggest thing is he could do so much for a team. He has so much potential. He's a good player. He just needs to make sure that he fixes himself off the field and does what he needs to do, and that's just the biggest thing with him. The Steelers would be a good fit. Going to number two, uh, CBS Sports has him going to the Rams, Yahoo, to the Colts. Both understandable, but the Rams not as much. I think they got their guy in Jared Goff. I, I just don't think he's a career guy. But when you look at the Rams quarterback depth behind Jared Goff, you have John Walford. I don't um, even know who John Walford is. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I have no clue. He was an, I believe, AAF quarterback, um, and that is their their best backup right now. I think it's the only backup on their roster. So bringing in a guy like Haskins and molding him, and it especially makes sense because of the offensive coordinator that is currently in Los Angeles. I don't know if you know this, but the offensive coordinator that is currently in Los Angeles was Dwayne Haskins' offensive coordinator in Washington in 2019. Haskins showed significant improvement down the stretch the end of last season for Washington. So that is why I think CBS Sports has that as number two. I think Yahoo has the Colts at number two because of the quarterback situation in Indy. J- Jacoby Brissett, he's in his last year of his contract. A lot of money that they've put on Jacoby Brissett. Good quarterback. I think he could be their career guy, but Phillip Rivers is getting up there, even though they signed him late in his career. Uh, he's just not going to be able to last forever for them. So, And they know that. So Dwayne Haskins, I think, would be a good fit for the Colts, especially more than the Rams. Now, they have the Colts do have Jacob Eason. That is... I just don't think he'll ever be... I don't I He'll don't never know pan either. out to a career quarterback, but I can't say I that like yet. I like Jacob Eason. It's too he's, early to say that. We haven't seen him play, but that would be an interesting fit. At number three on the list, uh, CBS Sports has the Seahawks. Now, the Seahawks quarterback depth consists of, you know... We clearly have Russ, who I, you know, everybody knows how I feel about the Seahawks and and Russ. Not a huge fan of the Seahawks. Russ is a good quarterback. Not my favorite, but he's a good quarterback. Listen, he's he's a good quarterback, and he's their career guy. There's no doubt about it. But uh, once once he hits that point in his career where he's not going to be able to do it, he's not going to be able to do it whatsoever. <laughs> you, There's no doubt about it in my have, mind. You absolutely hate the Seahawks, don't you? I hate the Seahawks <laughs> okay. with passion. Man. Okay, and behind Russell Wilson is Geno Smith. Geno Smith has proven he could be a quarterback in this league, but just not a starter. Not a starter. <laughs> not a starter. <laughs> no way. The, and the Jets, I mean, they, they took they took a took a risk with him, and, and he, he didn't pay off. And, like, you can clearly see down this list that all of these teams, I mean, Yahoo has a couple con- cool options. I mean, at, in CBS Sports, they have only four t- four, cool, four have, teams. In my the opinion, Titans were next, and that's a, that would be an intriguing one. The, the only one that's literal, though, is the Steelers. I, I uh, just don't. I mean, the Titans maybe, but the Rams and Seahawks, obviously backup quarterbacks. They got their career guys, in my opinion. Mainly the Seahawks out of that, but Yahoo yeah. with number three has the Patriots, and I don't see it. There, It looks like the Patriots just want to bring anybody in at quarterback because somebody's got to be better than what Cam Newton's done this season. Jared Stedham, not a bad guy, but not it. Not it. I, I have Brian Hoyer is not it. Yeah, Brian Hoyer is definitely not it. At number four on the Yahoo list, they have the Denver Broncos. I think it'd be cool, but it's also not going to be the guy that's going to push Drew Locke. I think they need to bring in a veteran to push Drew. They need to bring in a veteran that's going to help Drew get better because I think Drew can be the guy in Denver. I love Drew. Drew has the confidence unlike any other quarterback I've ever seen. Even when he goes out, he could go out and throw four interceptions. He almost has a, a Jameis Winston type confidence. He'll go out and throw four interceptions. He'll go out and throw four more and not care. Yeah. Which is kind of concerning. He just needs an but, e- he needs an ego check right now, especially yeah. like what he's done this year. I mean, not they need something better, obviously, but he could be the guy that they want him to be if he gets a push. Yeah, I I, I still believe in him. And at number five on the Yahoo list, the last team they have is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, bring him down there. Let Brady teach him the ropes. Um, maybe if you bring him down, you want to make sure Antonio Brown's not on the team because they're gonna. Hey, you know how Antonio Brown is. Uh, Antonio Brown, you give him one other guy to party with, there's probably a good chance that they're both going to end up at the strip club and both end up in massive trouble. Yeah. But I'm hoping Antonio Brown changes, and I'm hoping that Dwayne Haskins changes as well. But you combine those two, and I'm just not sure how it would work. I, th- I think this is going to help Dwayne Haskins grow up 
because he's still a kid. Yeah, I, I mean, I, we can't talk because I'm 20 years old and you're yeah, 17, I'm, so. I'm 16. But, so. Didn't even it's, know you were It's age. fine. Hey, <laughs> listen, honestly, I would like to see, see Dwayne Haskins go down there because, I mean, look, Jacoby Brissett, I mean, what a, I think he was a great third string for the Patriots. Then Back you got day, Jimmy yeah. Garoppolo. I mean, those guys learned under Tom Brady, and look how great they are. I, 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 I think they're good quarterbacks for being backups. And Jimmy no. Garoppolo went to yeah, be the starter a, of the 49ers. That's an easy start. I mean, that was the best. Uh, looking back on it, in my opinion, that was a great trio of quarterbacks that they had up in, up in New England. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so we both agree that we think the best option for Dwayne Haskins, actually. I wasn't expecting you to agree with me here, but... We both kind of feel like it's Pittsburgh. Yeah, absolutely. Like okay. I mean, P- Pittsburgh, they got their. They don't have. They don't have a career guy. Obviously, I think they should draft somebody instead of bringing in Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, but if I don't got, think he'd fit the offense for Pittsburgh. But in my opinion, every single NFL team needs to open their horizons and change an offense for a quarterback because that's just that's the type of world yep. we live in now. Yep. I mean, you got Lamar Jackson. I, Mobile quarterback. I, th- I, think I think everybody think, needs to go mobile. I think the Steelers' offense actually kind of fits. I mean, I think Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins, Haskins is more, a little more athletic than Big Ben would be, but I think he can make not, some plays. I'm, I mean, I think the offense I mean, actually listen, kind of Big fits. Ben, Big Ben's old. Yeah, he's, he's he's not athletic. We like, I like Big Ben still though. Yeah, I mean, but Dwayne Haskins, he could do. I mean, he could do some damage with the wide receivers of Pittsburgh, but. The thing is, Big it's Ben, a pro- I still he's think a he, he's got this year. If Big Ben persists and he, he can make a good playoff run here, maybe even Super Bowl run, I mean, I think he's got next year in him. I don't know about after that. But, I mean, it would be great to have somebody come in and learn um, from Big Ben, especially somebody like Dwayne Haskins, a good quarterback that, you know, who's not going to who's not gonna hurt your team, per se, as long as he keeps everything in check. And like Jared said, Mike Tomlin... Mike Tomlin knows how to keep somebody in check because he did have Antonio Brown. I mean, yeah, so it's it's going to be interesting. So I'm glad we kind of got you know, we wish Haskins the best. Both of us, have. Yeah. he's got massive potential. We I we hope that this turns his career around. This, this is the moment that turns him into a much better player is, and a much better man. Because this is a make or break for him, in my opinion. I I know he's young in his career, but I think this is the the moment that's going to define him for the rest of his career. You don't see you don't see teams move on from a first round pick that quickly. Yeah. But Rivera wants people to know that this is this is his team and it's going to be done his way. It's business or the highway. It's business, baby. Yeah, it's business. 